You ready, kid? Yeah. But. But. Well, every time we're lying here, we're about to do this. I, I always thought it was going to be fun, and I always thought that was because of money. Yeah. And this time it's not going to be fun. No. Because it's not just about money. You ready, kid? No. Hey, Lucas. Lucas. Your name's Lucas, right? What do you want from me? Have money. I'm not Good for I... you. Lucas, we don't want your money. This is Jessica. And I'm Marla. And I beg you. You're gonna have to pay a lot of attention because what I have to say is really important. You can cry out, you can call the police, you can light a fire and make smoke signals and you can do anything, but this isn't gonna end till she and I leave this room. See? Why the hell are you doing this to me? I've not done anything wrong. But you will. What the hell are you talking about? Are you a moron or what? Hey! And now, dear Lucas, this is the part where we proceed to pull the trigger, leading us to the second, um, second turning point. Yes. So basically, this is the part where you'll learn everything. Good news, it's gonna be fast. Bad news, it's gonna hurt like hell.
Jessica, you might want to come and have a look at this. You know what, Lucas? Let me be honest. Uh, we're making you suffer, and don't get me wrong. All this pain is for a reason. We have a purpose, you know? We're not crazy. At least she's not. Basically, we're putting your mind into a state where you're willing to understand. But this, um, this is a surprise. And, um, I'm sorry for asking, it's just, I'm very curious. Um, would you mind telling me, why do you just have one testicle? Fuck you. So rude. What if I told you this was all a dream? That everything that's happened... That you still have your one testicle? That this is punishment? If you had the ability to inflict the kind of pain you felt, would you? I haven't done anything. You will. Within three hours and 42 minutes, you will. You're fucking crazy. Please, just answer the question. Never in my entire life I've hurt anyone. I don't believe in revenge. I think everyone has to accept the consequences of their actions. I never thought I would hurt anyone. But I can swear to God. If I get out of here walking, I don't need anything else, just walk. Because if I'm able to walk, I will go after you. And I'll skin you alive. Told you. Told you you would need something else. Bring me the script. What? Okay. Lucas, what's the last thing you remember? I was in the subway on my way to see my girlfriend. What kind of shit is this? What is going on here? This is a dream. It's a fucked up dream. We've made you suffer the greatest pain you've ever experienced. For two basic reasons. Tragedy struck at the Graham Avenue subway station this morning as a young woman apparently took her own life. Witnesses reported that 31-year-old Alex LB was standing on the platform when she suddenly jumped in front of an approaching southbound Alex? train and was fatally struck She's at 4 a.m. this morning. Service was halted. What the hell did you do to we her? didn't do anything. Look at the time. 
Police are still investigating because it hasn't happened yet. Because death was a suicide. Her family has been dead. devastated and cannot understand yeah. why Alex would have taken her own she life. She will be. She was happy and loving life. That's why we do this. We do this to teach lessons and avoid people hurting each other. Years of doing it's taught us that killing isn't enough. We have to show you. By making people suffer unspeakable pain, similar to the pain you'll experience when you find out she's dead, you're more likely not to do what they're about to. Remember the girl on the subway? Smiling, sitting in front of you? When you wake up from this little nap, she'll be there, smiling at you. She'll say something nice, like, You drool when you sleep. And then right to her apartment. 86th Street. You'll tell Alex. And she'll do that. You'll lose the girl you love. And we lose our best friend. And my older sister. I don't know you. We know you. We know all the stories. My favorite's when she ripped your pocket on the subway and you thought you were being mugged. You should consider changing your means of transport. So, now, what? You ready, kid? Wait, wait, hold on. What if you are wrong? What if, if this is not a dream? I really hope you've learned something. Wait, wait.
Is a big thing. Is a big.